Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Zurius, and today we're going to build this awesome house. So everything we need for the house is in this chest right here and oh, wait, what's that material list on the screen there? That's really interesting, I wonder what that is. <laughs> so I'm using a mod called Lightmatica which makes sharing and building things in Minecraft so, so, so much easier. One of the features is this handy little material list. So if I just grab a bunch of stuff out of here, we should see the list update and it will then tell you how many more of that I need. Okay, we've got all of the parts we need to continue, so let's do this. So you might have already seen this building that I'm going to do today on my Twitter. Um, what? What do, you, what do you mean you haven't, you don't follow my Twitter? Excuse me? Is this some sort of joke? You know the link is in the description, right? You do know that. Well, follow me on Twitter. And you get to see these awesome builds before I put the videos out. It's a win-win. Now, I'm about to show you guys probably one of the coolest things I have ever seen in Minecraft. Now, keep in mind, this is vanilla Minecraft. Now, keep in mind, this is a standard 1.14.4 server. But you wouldn't think that when you see this. Look at this. This is a schematic, this is a layered schematic of the building that you saw in the intro. And I can scroll up and down the layers of the building, and back down, and up, and down, and up. And this, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is going how we're going to be making this building today. How fantastic is this? Now, I will put some details in the description of how you can set this up yourself. And I will be sharing my schematics, so this right here, of every single build that I feature on my channel. So you guys can build along if you like, you can take the schematics, you can even paste them somewhere if you're in creative mode and it just builds the whole thing for you. It is absolutely fantastic. So check the description, check that out, and let's get on with the build. So first layer here, so I'm probably going to miss out a few things as I go. Um, I don't really need to detail everything. Whoops. First block and it's already a mistake. So I'm just going to put down the base blocks just now and then I'll add some variety to the build later. But see how easy this is to follow? All you have to do is follow the design. So we've got some stone going around here. So let's do the edge of the building here. You can see all the different varieties of stone, like mossy stone. Uh, I think there's some andesite there. You can see actually see up in the top right there, there's a little additional HUD that shows you the schematic material. Again, very cool. So we're going to just take this all the way around here. I keep falling into it because I think there's actual blocks here. So you're probably wondering what that big part is jutting out there, but you'll see, you'll see soon, don't worry. And there we go. So let me just put the base back down and we can see that's the base of the building. That's the outline of the building done. How quick was that? So we don't need to do the hedges just now. That's more of a detail we can do after the fact. Uh, let's do, oh, hold on, we've got these guys here, move these out of the way so that the schematic can be shown properly. So there are a few little bits of detail here and there, such as some wool here and some wool there. But the most important thing is the spruce logs and the oak planks, which we have, dark oak planks, sorry, which we have right here. So I'm just going to try and follow my pattern as best as I can. You don't have to follow this exactly, you can make your own thing, you can make your own designs, you can change all the materials if you want and just use the schematic for a for a base building. See if I ac accidentally put down the wrong thing there, it doesn't really matter. Still looks good. So let's just keep filling in these bits. As long as you get the base structure down, that's really what matters. Everything else is just personal preference and flavour. Right, there we go, first layer done, minus a few little details, so let's move on to the next one. Look how easy that is, all you have to do is just press a button and you see the next layer right here in fancy little ghost form. So we've got a lot of detail and additional things in here. You're starting to see the rooms come together as well. I think most of the detail in the building is actually on this layer. So another great thing about this mod is how customizable it is. I thought the blocks were a bit too transparent, so I've just turned up the alpha and now I can see them much, much better. I can clearly say that this is a stripped dark oak log. So let's get the cornerstones done first, so which is probably the most important outline here. So we've got all of these stripped dark oak and these signify the corners. 
Okay, but great, we've got all of them. Next we've got spruce planks. These are the main building block of the outside wall here. And some of the inside wall here as well. Uh, we need some oak. Let's just grab the oak. So we've got oak logs. So spruce planks and oak logs go really well together just for complementary purposes. Uh, you see, I've just used a different block there instead. So I've got some planks and some oak there. Don't worry too much about the texture and the details at this stage. You can always fix that later. So that's a stair there. So we'll leave that. More stairs. And that's an oak log. Planks. Planks. Oh, I thought that was a block. See? See what I mean? So that's an oak log. So let's grab an oak log and then put all of these in here. You know, it occurs to me I'm forgetting something extremely important. Middle mouse click lets you select the block that you're looking at. And it works with this. How fantastic is that? And how much it speeds up the process. Look, I can just face this. Click. There we go. We've got half of a door here, which is a bit strange. But we'll put that up on this level here. So we don't need to worry about that. So any more ghost blocks? You just middle click. There we go. And let's just fill this in a bit. You can probably guess already what this area is here. This is going to be a nice big chimney and fireplace. There we go again, standing on the blocks that don't exist. I don't know if I have these stairs. Yes, I do have the stairs. That's fine, we just made a little mistake. I can just fix that. And we've got the kitchen here coming together already. It's impressive of how quick this is. It's such an easy thing to do. All you have to do is just follow the plan that's in front of you. Move up to the next step and just keep going until it's done. So we've got a little chair here. Some trap doors down. Perfect. I need to grab some composters, I forgot to grab those. And we've got some trapdoors here too for the bottom of the bed. I think I forgot to get beds as well actually, I, I, I'm less prepared than I thought I was. Right, did we put this one here? Nope. What else is missing? Okay, so let's take down the layer again and we'll see how it looks. So look, there we go, there's the building already. You can clearly see all of the rooms now as they're coming together. And it's already looking so detailed and full of so much stuff, isn't it? And how little work this has taken and how quickly it's been done. It's, it's fantastic. Here we are on the next layer, so let's just keep this going. Oh, well, that might be a bit difficult to place. Let's place some more blocks first. I don't have any cracked blocks, unfortunately, so I'm just going to use normal blocks for now. And I'll worry about the details later. Oak trap door. Couple of bits of oak here. Whoops. And a little nook here for where the bed's going to be. And already we've almost got the bedroom done. One thing that you do have to be careful of when placing these blocks is that you don't place it on the wrong place. Because as you're looking through these, they are transparent. But if I look through here and look there, it goes on top of the chair rather than where it's supposed to go. So just watch out for that. Right, that's the second layer mostly done. Let's take these down and have a look at how it looks so far. There we go, we've almost got a house. Obviously there's lots of details missing, but like I said, don't worry, we'll do that at the end. Let's just get the basic structure down for now and then we can put on all the little great details afterwards. So on to the next layer. Bring this back up and there we go. So we're starting on the roof at this point. So it might start getting a bit tricky to place some of the blocks, but let's just make sure that we start from the outside edge here and we work our way around. Just making sure that I get the right blocks here all the time. I'm just watching the little panel on the top right there, telling me what I should be placing. Now the roof is a bit more uniform, so you want to pay more attention to what's being placed. Well, there's no rule that says you have to, but... I'm doing that, I'm sticking to the plan on this one. Oh, we've already got a cheeky villager trying to move in. It's not ready yet, you have to wait. I don't even have the beds here. Why are you coming up here? <laughs> Go away and wait till it's finished you. Now for the roof parts, I think it'd be easier just to come outside and do this. You have to be careful that you select the right parts here because it's a bit tricky. It switches between slabs and stairs quite often. I think this part's all slabs of uh, stairs, sorry. So we should be good just to do this. Whoops. Uh, that's clearly a mistake, so let's get rid of this. Now some parts might not make a whole lot of sense just yet, like this floating part here. 
You know it's part of the roof, but it just looks weird because the rest of the roof isn't there. But if we go up to the next level, you can see that there's a connection there and it does continue. Once you wait for it all to come together, you get to see the full thing and then that's when it really pays off. So we've got these here as well. We've got fence gates. Again, it's something that looks a bit strange out of context, but if we just jump up another level, you'll see that it actually looks like it's a support for this here. And it adds a little bit more detail and depth to the build. So let's take a step back and look at it so far. Yeah, not too bad if I do say so myself. You can definitely see the house shape starting to come together. Let's bring up the next level. So I think you kind of get the gist of what we're doing now. So I'm going to move this onto the next layer. I'm going to finish off this build and go fill in all the details that I've missed. And then I'll come back with a finished product for you guys. And here we have the finished house. I've gone through, I've finished it all. I've put all the little details around the outside. Let's have a little peek around here. You see you've got lots of nice spruce leaves and birch leaves. These are a modded thing, don't worry about these, you can check the description to see how to get this yourself. We've got a nice chimney and fireplace up here, some nice smoke for some detail. And these guys pretty much moved in straight away, didn't you? Yeah, don't mind me, I'm just going to have a quick look. So here's the interior, I forgot to, I forgot about these composters here where they would make farmers out of everyone, but that's fine, I don't mind. I love adding this little detail to my builds where we just get a campfire and extinguish it. Put it near this and then it just looks like a pile of logs that you're going to use to fuel the fire. Really, really cool. We've got a little bit of a private room here. I'm sure you can all guess what this is supposed to be. Just close that over. It's a bit smelly. And close the door and open a couple of windows. There we go. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm sorry. It's it's, it's natural, okay? Got a little bit of a kitchen here with, with a sink. And the bedroom. I really, really like the feel of the bedroom. It's so, so cozy with the double bed and a little bit of carpet. Not too much. Um, maybe need some more colour, maybe some paintings or some more things. I did originally have lots of barrels around the place for storage and just to make the place look a bit better, especially up here in the kitchen. But then that would have created a ton of Fisher villagers, which I don't really want. So I'll have to figure something out. So I'm going to show you guys one more cool thing before we end this video. And that is these custom models that I have created. Now keep in mind, this is still vanilla Minecraft. All this is, is it's a server resource pack that I've created. That I'm working on. So this is the same technique as the armor and swords where if you take an item and rename it, it changes to this model. So you'll see that this one's called the blacksmith hammer one. If I can just grab this and there you go, you can hold it. So the way that I've done this is I created an invisible item frames pack. So it's just a simple little pack, I'll put it in the downloads if someone wants it. So we just put the item frame down here, put down our item and there you have it. So I've got some iron ingots here, some hammers, some gold ingots. Uh, a couple of hooks, a hammer on a hook, and we've got this stand here. I really, really like this stand, uh, the rack, sorry. Um, it's the newest thing that I've made, and it just looks so good. It adds so much flavor to the place, and I just, I'm really, really looking forward to building more stuff. Well, not building more stuff, creating more things like these. I might create a pack in the future that I might release. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to wait and see how it goes, but if you guys like this stuff, let me know. Anyway guys, as for the building, please check the description, you'll see details of all the mods that I've got running. Uh, and remember, this is still vanilla Minecraft, you don't have to download Forge or anything like that. It does run on Fabric though, which is a slightly different launcher. But this is just a typical vanilla server that I'm on. I'll also have the schematics down in the description below. If you do build this building or any other buildings in the future, please let me know, especially share them with me on Twitter. And if you have any issues or questions, you can get me on Twitter as well. So everyone, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it and I hope this video was enjoyable for you all, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.